Android fellow. So first of all, you need to navigate to the search bar of your Windows at the bottom side and you need to search for NVIDIA. Once you type NVIDIA in the search bar, you will have the NVIDIA app. You need to click on this. Once you are right inside the NVIDIA app, you can see the interface is changed. Your interface might be different. For that, you can watch this video and you can upgrade your NVIDIA to the latest version. And once you are done, you need to navigate to the drivers in the left navigation of the NVIDIA app. And once you are right inside, make sure you select the NVIDIA Studio driver. For that, you can click on this drop down and you can select your preferred driver. But for the Premiere Pro 2023 or 2024, I prefer to go with Studio driver. You need to click on this, you need to install the Studio driver and make sure you have the latest version of the studio driver installed on your pc so once you are done you need to navigate to the graphics once you are right inside the graphics you have two options here global settings and the program settings you can apply both but i recommend the program settings because it is specific to the program right now i have two apps that is the game watchdogs and this is the topaz video ai that are automatically directed by the nvidia app and it is optimized and uh, as you can see premiere pro is not detected so for that you need to click on these three vertical dots and make sure you are right inside the program settings you need to click on this you need to select add a program once you are right inside you need to specify the path where your premiere pro is located in my case i am going to this pc this is the local disk c then i need to navigate to program files Adobe. This is Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 version. Your version may vary, but it also applies for 2023 and 2024. So once you are right inside, scroll down until you see the Adobe Premiere Pro application exe file. Once you find the Adobe Premiere Pro exe file or application file, you need to select it and click on open. So this is the Adobe Premiere Pro exe file and uh, it is by default hidden. So I will click on these three vertical dots here and I will select unhide program. Once you do so, let us go let us go back to these three vertical dots, click on refresh and again go to the filters and click on all. Now I can see the Adobe Premiere Pro .exe file to optimize. So this is the first step that we are going to apply for this Adobe Premiere Pro. So first of all for the RTX dynamic vibrance, you can enable this option and you can keep the density as 50% and the saturation boost up to 25% that is perfectly fine and it will only work if you have a RTX series of graphics card so once you're done you can click on apply the CUDA GPU this is very important you can select use these GPUs and make sure you select your graphics card here in my case I have Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Ti so if you have multiple GPUs this option is the best one that you can customize to select your GPU for Adobe Premiere Pro and for the DSR factors it is by default uh, global is off and I cannot select it for the image scaling you need to click on this and make sure it is on and keep the sharpening at 50% do not go with the 100% it will make your videos or the photos in the Premiere Pro very noisy so you can adjust according to your needs but 50% is fine for the low latency mode this is not needed for the Adobe Premiere Pro for the max frame rate you can go with the on and keep it at its maximum set that 1000 frames per second this is used for the videos and you can click on apply you can ignore the monitor and technology for the power management mode you can go with prefer maximum performance you can ignore the vertical sync and virtual reality so this is the basic settings of the nvidia app that is the latest version now we are going to go inside the nvidia control panel to apply the customized settings for that you can go to settings scroll down until you see the nvidia control panel you can click on this open icon all right fellas so once you're right inside first of all you need to go to adjust image settings with the preview and make sure you select use the advanced 3d image settings now navigate to the bottom right corner of the screen and click on apply once you are done go to configure surround physics and make sure the processor is selected as your gpu do not select cpu or auto select we are going to go with the gtx 1660 ti it is recommended if you play games along with the video editing in your pc so once you are done now let us go navigate into the manage 3d settings again we have the global settings and the program settings i recommend to go with the program settings once you are right inside Make sure you select this option show only programs found on this computer. You do not get lost in finding the best programs that you're looking for the customization. Once you click on this drop down you can see the list of programs and I can see the Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 here. I can click on this to apply the GPU acceleration settings. 
but still if you are unable to trace the Adobe Premiere Pro from this list you can go to the add button here and once you are right inside you can find the Adobe Premiere Pro from this list as you can see we have the Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 and 2022 if you are unable to see the programs in this list you can select from this select a program pop up and you can uh, select your Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 from this list and still if you are unable to locate it as you can see we can see the text here cannot find the program you can click on browse now you can go to this pc you can navigate to the local disk c where your windows is installed you can navigate to program files adobe adobe premiere pro 2020 or whatever version you have and once you are right inside you can select the adobe premiere pro application file and as soon as you click on open it will be loaded into the program to customize all right fellas so first of all we have the image scaling by default it is on we are gonna go with the on and keep the sharpening at the 50 percent and you can also select the overlay indicator but i do not recommend this so you can click on ok for the any dropping filtering we have the 8x by default you can also go with 16x but it will make your videos very noisy so i recommend to go with 8x for the gamma correction you can go with on for the anti-aliasing mode you can click on override any application settings but if it doesn't work you can click on enhance the application settings for now we are gonna go with enhance the application setting for the anti-aliasing settings we are gonna go with 8x for the anti-aliasing transparency we are gonna go with 8x super sample for the background max frame rate you can go with on and keep it at its maximum such that 200 fps and click on ok for the coda gpus you can click on this and you can select use these gpus and make sure you select your graphics card and click on ok for the cuda system fallback policy go with driver default you can ignore the low latency mode for the max frame rate we need to click on on and keep it at its maximum and click on ok you can ignore the monitor technology for the multi frame sampled aamfaa you can go with on for the open gl gda compatibility this is very important you need to select prefer performance for the open gl rendering gpu this is also very important you need to select your graphics card here for the power management mode click on prefer maximum performance you can ignore the prefer refresh rate for the texture filtering go with on for the texture filtering negative LOD bias you need to go with clamp for the texture filtering quality make sure it is high performance for the texture filtering trollini optimization make sure it is on for the threaded optimization it should be on for the triple buffering make sure it is also on you can ignore the vertical sync and the visuality for the Vulkan opal gn preset method you need to go with preferred layered on dxga swap chain and once you are done you need to go at the bottom right corner of the screen and click on apply so now your premiere pro is completely optimized and uh, let us go right inside the premiere pro and enable the gpu acceleration settings all right fella so once you're right inside your door premiere pro you need to navigate to the file in the top left navigation of the premiere pro and you need to click on file and then navigate to the project settings and click on general once you're right inside make sure you find the render here you need to select this drop down and make sure mercury playback engine gpu acceleration code is selected you can also go with the open cl or open gl these are all the gpu acceleration modes but the best is and recommended is cuda so once you select this option you need to click on ok once you are done you need to navigate to the edit in the top left navigation of the premiere pro and navigate to preferences and click on general so once you are right inside make sure you go to the media and you need to find this option H264 HEVC hardware acceleration decoding and the encoding both of these options should be enabled and Nvidia is selected by default so once you are done you need to click on ok and again you need to go to the file and you need to select the export and click on media and in the export settings make sure you are under the video settings you need to select the performance under encoding settings as hardware encoding after applying all these settings your premiere pro will be optimized and it will use your gpu while you're rendering or while you're editing in the premiere pro so that's it i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day